Are those worth it to extract even though their value is only 20 Lucent? Okay, I'll explain the logic for you, Nest. Nesty, this is this is just again my logic. Do you see these items right here? They're called trader extraction stones. I want you guys to have the same concept as I do, okay? And this is up to you guys, all right? If you can just this is the current that I've been doing. If you can say one trade extraction stone equals 10 lucent, then you will know for the future any item you wish to sell should be equivalent to that. We're not talking about the profit, we're talking about the sale. The sale is going to be basically 1 to 10. So if it's a five lucent, if it's a five trait, such as like, I'll show you right now. Let's go to my storage and I'll show you three different items, okay? And these are the reason why they're in my storage is because they are not, they're not that good. I'll bring a purple one out. I'll bring a blue one out and I'll bring a green one out, okay? So I brought one of each. I'll even bring the blue chest piece in case you guys think they're different. So we're going to go to trade extraction and you'll see it's five for a blue. It's one for a green, okay? It's blue here. And then you'll see right here, 25 for purple. Okay. So if you guys can see that logistics, five for the blue weapon, 25 for the purple weapon. And your goal is to say, Hey, yo, if I can sell this at 10 Lucent, which is only one trait stone, that means this weapon, if I sell the trait should be 50 Lucent. And if I sell this purple trait, it should be 250 Lucent. And so the goal here is to make sure that you take advantage. You take advantage of that sure sale. How so how do you determine stuff, that? Just let me know. How do you determine that is very simple. We're going to go to trade extraction stone by identifying the trait. Sorry, we're going to now identify to see if this trait is worth 250 Lucent. So we'll go down to the trait lists. We'll see this wildkin boost damage. And we'll see right now it's worth 50. And that just tells you right away, no. This is not worth using my trait stones for it because it's now basically going to cost me one to five. It's half the value. No, it's even worse than half the value. Jesus Christ. It's like two per trait stone. It's terrible. All right. And then you'll see over here the blue one, which is mana regen. If I go here and it says 55 for purple, obviously, our goal is to go switch to blue and see that this is at 15 to 20. So it's not at 50. So we're not going to sell that either. When we look at range evasion, this is where it kind of gets a little tricky. If this doesn't have it at 11, if it doesn't have it at 11, then that means well, the best way to identify it is you'll see right here the 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 boots are at 250. So that means the per, uh, the blues need to be at 50, right? And then that means the the uh, the, the greens could be at 10. If you just want to think about the the logistics of that. So if we go to the feet here, I can sell this range of Asia now and make value on it. Okay. Do you see right now it's supposed to be a 10 for one? It's at 15. So this is a good trait extraction stone transfer. So now I'm going to go and sell this trait extraction stone. This one item right here at 14, just one less. And I'm making value. Let's go check the chest piece here. And the Magic Endurance chest piece is 25. Not worth it. I'm going to put it back in the storage. If you want to know what I'm going to do with these later, I can show you guys later. Right now, it's time to duel. Hope that made sense to you guys. Let me know if you guys had any clue what I just said. If, you're not sure how <laughs> if you don't play this game, did that make sense to you? Yeah, and if you don't know what the hell to do the day of, just come to my channel and we'll talk. I'll show you.